It was a quiet bank in a sleepy town. In the Philippines, hundreds of rural banks like this wanted to attract new business. They just didn't know how. We did not have a plan at the time. What we needed was something that would set the direction, tell us how to reach those objectives. So you believe that the poor... So in 1999, Cantilan Bank began working with a creative new project from USAID, the U.S. Agency for International and, um, Development, one specifically designed to transform rural banking here. Well, that's what we are looking at right now. So this bank was a model bank for the program because they knew exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted to help their community. The project showed the bank how to reach a huge untapped market, low-income businesses and households, and how to do it so that everyone benefited. It began with basic market research, getting bank employees for the first time to go door to door, surveying potential clients. The people know that the bank is there, but they don't know that the bank is for them, to serve them. Susanna Miranda owns a local furniture shop. I was hesitant to go to the bank because I thought it was only for rich people, not for someone like me with very little income. Now, eager to attract new low-income savings accounts, the bank slashed its minimum deposit from the equivalent of $20 to just $2. It encouraged children to open their own savings accounts. Soon, money from all over the community started flowing into the bank. Even if one guy deposits $5 a month, but you're talking about a thousand people. The project worked with the bank to start lending that money safely back into the community to many of those same small shops and farms. Lorna Espura borrowed a total of $1,400 to buy the land where she now grows rice and okra, sweet potatoes and string beans. The bank gave me a loan with no collateral. It was a bigger loan amount and at the lower interest rate than I could get from any money lender. With USAID's guidance, the bank began introducing a variety of new products and services. Mobile banking so that customers could make deposits and withdrawals from their cell phones. The first life insurance policies for the poor. And the first home financing for low-income families. Roger Otita borrowed $2,800. The bank loan for this house is a huge help to my family. My wife and three children and me live in the back of my shop. Now we can have a real home. Thanks to this project, more than 60,000 small business owners and farmers have received new loans in the area. The bank is very different now. I feel much more welcome. I've had 23 loans and paid them all back. They've allowed my furniture business to really grow. Cantilan Bank has grown from three branches to 14 branches and 23 satellite offices. It's now so successful, it's paying 20 times more taxes to the community. The whole area is thriving. The major contribution of the project itself was not just on how we did uh, business with the poor uh, people, but how we did business, generally speaking, to be of service to the community, to grow in such a way that the clients also grew with us and that the whole community is now more prosperous. 